Hey, I'm Elise Fay with the Seabot team and EXP Realty, and today I'm with Eric Murrieta with VIP Mortgage. Um, one of the things that I'm very passionate about is helping sellers sell their home. I mean, I got into this business because I wanted to serve others, and this is the capacity that I enjoy. But right now, we're trying to manage seller expectations in a market that's correcting. And uh, so right now, it's difficult. Do sellers take their home off the market? Do I try to share with them the stats that will encourage them to reduce the price so they can meet buyers expectations and we can put a deal together so there are several options um yes price reduction is one of them but as eric and i were talking about there are some things that the sellers can do to motivate the buyers to put an offer in on that house absolutely because we know that with higher interest rates affordability is different today than it was six to nine months ago right. so one of the things that we see in the, the fascinating thing for numbers with buyers is that they think a ten thousand dollar reduction on their price is going to save them a bunch of money right but over 30 years it just doesn't do that no. right but an interest rate difference of a half a percent to one percent can really make a difference in what their monthly payment is and their desire to purchase the house. So a lot of times we'll see sellers, and I know you'll talk to them in negotiations, they'll say, hey, let's reduce the price by 20,000 or 30,000. But that change in the payment for the borrower, even on a reduced amount, one thing, it doesn't really move their down payment requirement that much right. because it's such a small percentage. And the second thing is the monthly payment doesn't move by more than maybe 50 to 60 oh, bucks for yeah. every 10 grand. Mm -hmm. But a concession from the seller of 10 grand could buy the rate down by a point or a point and a quarter to the, to the client. And now we're saving them without taking away from the seller, putting more money in their pocket. Now we're really starting to see the buyer get that 180 to 200 dollar nice. difference, depending on the size of the loan. Right. Obviously, it, it's variable, but again, it's just another thing that we're seeing that that sellers should be mindful of. And I think we've talked about before, like, what if you're a seller today and you pull it off the market and you put it back? What do you think might happen then? You, are you going to be able to start here, or where do you think you might be? No, we don't you're going to start even lower. So we're right. trying to encourage sellers to meet the buyer's expectations right now and get the job done. Because if you wait and we have a six to yeah. nine month correction, you're going to be a lot lower down the right. road. So now you're starting thirty thousand less than where you are today, yes. and you're going to have to still if it's a market that is still benefiting buyers, maybe give concessions sure. then. So I agree with you. I think buyers right now, if we can get them over the question of affordability mm -hmm. and make sure they feel comfortable, I still think they're willing to buy homes. I still think oh. people need really good homes and they're yes. out there. And yeah, they're trying to bring their own expectations in, but if we're able to guide them, and we're doing that a lot on the financing side, just guiding them through, how do we help you, you know, afford this home a little bit more? And right. we're doing that by, you know, managing the expectations of the seller, I think it's really good. And I think on our side, or your side, especially as the listing agent, you, or the sell, you really yes. want to keep as much money in your seller's pocket as possible, Absolutely, right? yes. Managing that, yes. for sure. So I think we can bring it all together. It's gonna to take a little extra work yeah. this time, but that's what we're here for. Well, good. Well, if you're selling, Call her best negotiator ever. Always good to hear from someone except for the person themselves, but <laughs> seriously, fantastic negotiator. Yes, and She's same awesome. thing with Eric. I mean, he's gonna really spend all the time necessary to get you to understand the different loan options and choices that you have and get you into a great deal. Talk to you soon. Bye.